Okay, yo, we gonna do this moon reading to see what is hiding, what's being hidden from you, what you may need to defend yourself from, what you may need to accept. Let your feelings tell you how to. If you don't feel like talking, do not talk to people. Be respectful as possible, but if you don't feel like talking, you do not have to talk. Learn the power of no. Learn boundary setting. You know what I'm saying? If people make you feel good and you want to talk to them, talk to those people. Reactions. <laughs> so y'all going to have reactionary shit going on. Feelings caused by feeling some kind of way. The nurturing of. Seems like y'all going to have to nurture yourself. Unless it shows that other people are going to nurture you. Put a little twist in the hips because I'm watching. Conversations on the phone to the break of dawn. Why are we all alone? Why are the lights on? Turn them off. I'm trying to set it off. Which you wet and soft. Something's on your mind. Let it off. I don't know, man. You just let me. Let me. If I could have you sitting right here, why are you sweating? Round and round, round we go. People may peg me as a know-it-all. I'm not. I just experienced a lot in a short amount of time. And I still got duped with a lot of the shit that I knew better. Or, you know, experienced it before and then get into something else. And it's pretty much the same fucking experience. Some shit was spiritual kidnapping. Motherfuckers calling you back in. You don't want to get called back in. What are you doing? I'm done with this shit. Or I'm done with you. This is over. <laughs> you got attachment issues. It's not have nothing to do with me. People should not have to go to jail or get murdered or all kind of shit because the person don't know how to simply let the fuck go and move the fuck on. It's not that hard. It's really not. Mm -hmm. People create more and more scenarios based out of fear. Of the unknown, not knowing. People so used to knowing and having control over shit. And now that they don't know and have a lost some sense of control that they never had in the first place to a degree. Uh, now they just keep creating fear-based scenarios that's affecting everybody. For real. It just stagnates you and slows you up. <laughs> you know? I'm telling you, it's like getting on punishment and you ain't do shit. Action. Exactly. It's reaction in this case. If somebody may keep trying to take action, you know, y'all trying to take action towards a new beginning and people are doing shit. They don't want to accept the fact that certain chapters of your life are over. That shit triggers me. I think God made me that way. The masculine energies. Yeah. Some of y'all ready to take action towards a new beginning, towards a masculine energy, which is nothing, nobody specific, just bringing a new beginning may bring you something new, or this could be somebody you all in separation with, where you want to reunite once you come into the new beginning, because you realize you had a lot of shit to shed before meeting that divine masculine. <laughs> Sheesh. Somebody may be trying to block your new beginning. It's like you walk through a door and somebody's standing there. Did you? Yeah. It's like, what are you standing here for? I'm done with this. 
That to me is kind of, it's not scary, but get ready to fight Satan. Darkness. Yeah, unknown. <laughs> moon, just a moon reading. You can see what's hidden. Somebody standing on the other side of y'all new beginning. When y'all take action and walk through this new beginning, it's a masculine energy standing there. Is it somebody y'all want to be there or not? Because darkness to me, when taking action, is kind of like getting out of a dark situation and surrendering to a new beginning or a new path. You know, in your own vibe. Not really even thinking about a masculine energy, but it's going to be somebody. Y'all walk through that door. Somebody may test y'all willpower. You know, on some, they're a man, you're a woman. You do want me. Like, what? Mm -mm. Did I say that I don't? You know, you're going to make me want to? That's raper vibes. Rapist vibes. It is. <laughs> y'all pull willpower. Come on, faith. Some of y'all pregnant. Y'all have the faith, or y'all don't want to be. Y'all have faith. Y'all cycle don't come. Just keep coming up these readings. These readings. Self reflection. Yeah. Realize it ain't shit shaking. <laughs> shit, Shaggy, you already surrendered to the divine. Whatever God will have me to do. I'm not about to keep going through these same ass, stupid ass situations. And motherfuckers expect me to. You want to come against my willpower? Then I guess we'll both be down here tonight. Because you know how many motherfuckers I had to deal with like you? All my life I had to fight. Go Miss Sophia on these things. Yeah, some of y'all had a feeling about somebody y'all met. A soulmate shit. Honey, baby. Can't catch a break, divine fans. The unexpected. Expect the unexpected. I'm going to do one more from this day. Yeah, expect the unexpected. It's like one last, one last. Yeah, a radical change. One last demonic force before you home free kind of shit. It could be for divine masculines and divine feminine, especially if y'all mirroring each other. They could be dealing with an aggressive feminine energy that don't know how to let go. It could be a whole thing, you know, trying to see if she's pregnant or if she was or is, if the baby's there, if it was a witchcraft baby. Baby may have died, or she may have miscarried. Something going on. I tend to think certain energies work in a unison when it's not derived purely in intentions and in love. If it's lust, fear, anything of the devil. And those type of people work in unison. And if you get two people that's of the light that really love each other, it's pure intentions, it's pure intentions, and you be doing that too, then it's like you're going to mirror experiences based off of who you are and who the people, y'all opposers or oppositions are. Good versus evil. Everybody thinks you're good. Until they find somebody that's more good than them. Then they want to covet you or kill you or something. I'm just tell me the truth. It says, My home is a sacred space full of beauty, inspiration, and protection. So some of y'all got. Ancestors around your home or in your home, if y'all invited this person over, 
that y'all are feeling skeptical about, y'all got some form of discernment about, a masculine energy. If y'all let them over, y'all got protection. They may not, you know, want to even be bothered. Just do the pop-up, drive-by, call. Put y'all home spaces. Seems to be protected. Mm-hmm. Hell, they don't like the fact that y'all got boundaries. Like I said, if you don't want to talk, don't talk. If you want to talk, talk. You know, they don't like that. They see that as like you acting different. But it's really you having healthy boundaries, keeping yourself centered and balanced. Because this person, these people, they don't know from whence y'all came. Y'all just meeting some of these people. Even if y'all told them a chunk of y'all experience, they don't know that you worked your ass off to be able to say, no, I do not want to talk to you. Some of y'all are not those type of women. Y'all were the type of women that did not know how to say no. And you learned the power of no. And ain't nobody going to take that from you. They had to take your life before they take that from you. And I don't blame you. It's how you should be. Because a lot of people took your life by you saying yes on a motherfucking path. That's why you, where you at now. I am at home in my body and at peace in my spirit. Yeah, people just want to come and disrupt you. Want to come rock your boat. Oh, please. Don't you rock. My boat, don't rock my boat, cause I don't want my boat to be rocking. Don't rock my boat, oh please, don't you rock my boat, cause I don't like my boat to be rocking. I'm cool. I'm happy inside all of the time. I'm good over here. Don't start that shit. <laughs> y'all ain't reaching out to pimp. These men, y'all ain't reaching out to them. They do not like that. Y'all got self-worth, self-value, and boundaries, and peace in y'all body and spirit. Even after sleeping with some of them. Even what come what may if some of y'all think y'all pregnant and don't want to be. Y'all that sinner. I am courageous, steady, and strong. Yeah. Some of y'all are like this. Some of y'all are more men than men. But not in a uh, toxic way. No. Because that's what you had to be. And now you come in saying what? You about to do what? It's not. It's not about to be male versus female. This isn't the. This isn't the jungle. This isn't a jungle, and I don't even have the energy to fight you. But I will find it to, you know, if it gets to that. No means no, and that's it. I'm done means I'm done, and that's it. Men do not like that. It's like they don't like it, but then they like it because they want to conquer you. You're like, no, <laughs> like. Are you deaf, dumb, or blind? Because y'all clearly ain't. I welcome clear vision and inspired action. Again. Again. Y'all got to come in this way and go get it going that way. And the wings on this eagle look like the wings on here. These two to seven decks. But kind of giving off the same vibe to me. You know, I'm just free as a bird. I ain't gonna let that, man. Listen. Listen, man. That's on a five. That means y'all are going crazy on somebody to try to stop y'all from getting where y'all need to. After y'all been enlightened by so many things, and y'all know that y'all been chosen to celebrate your lineage and honor your ancestors. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody come in the way of that motherfucking shit. Your ancestors ain't gonna let nobody come in the way of that shit. <laughs> they so sweet. And full of love, a person will just dissolve and go their way. Because y'all got something to contribute. This is what's hidden. It's hidden aggressions, power struggles, testing y'all willpower, trying to block y'all path, y'all destiny. 
I free myself from critical thoughts towards my body and my worth. They may have played the you fat game, you know. <laughs> Y'all picked it up. Y'all very determined. If they didn't say it out, they mob, they may have looked a certain way when you were naked, if you ain't flawless, like they may think they are. But it's just a game, you know, to make you kind of feel down on yourself so they can manipulate you to kind of like, ain't nobody going to want you but them. But without saying it, because they know that don't really work in today's time. Wherever these people are, they're real savvy. Y'all ain't never gave a fuck. Fat stomach, flat ass. It don't matter. I've been through too much. But I am centered, and I am saying no. With my flat, fat ass. And my food pop. And my stretch marks. And my business. My emotions move through cycles and connect me to my truth. Yeah, some of y'all cycles ain't coming because of stress. It's stress. Bloating, it's the moon. Water retention, it's the moon. <laughs> and the foods you're eating, I mean, come on, I don't know. It's true. Some of y'all emotions is fucking with y'all cycles. Y'all is not pregnant. Some of y'all may think so. Just expecting the worst, but praying for the best. Some of y'all is in that mindset. Sometimes if you think you are enough and you worry yourself enough, enough, enough. I had a friend. She had lost her mind. She started smoking and bombing fluid. She lost her mind after her mom died. She turned into bombing fluid. She got her mind back now. She, she got it all the way tight now. But then, she was my best friend. She got hooked on fucking bombing fluid. She tricked herself into believing she was pregnant. She really did. She kept me, I mean, had a stomach just like this and everything and was skinny as fuck because she was fucking with that shit. My mother like, what are you having, an elephant? You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, what's up with that? But she wanted a child real bad. It was like bad. It was like bad. She wanted a baby bad. She was struggling with that shit. So much so that she pretended in her mind that she was and it made her stomach I mean, her period stopped everything. And she was not fucking pregnant. She didn't start having children to like 10 years after that or some shit. <laughs> Something crazy. <laughs> shit. We are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. Right. Have a lingerie, savage, vintage sun, honey. You know, I mean, y'all got to sleep and lick on each other. Just have, you know, look, look at your fat ass. I know, girl. Pass gas and everything. You know? <laughs> just make sure ain't no masculines around to judge you and shit to further manipulate your fat ass. Love and intimacy flow into my life effortlessly. I bet. I bet. Y'all a sweetheart. People just get y'all and don't. They don't want to let you go, but they end up fucking up the relationship because they don't know how to handle somebody like y'all. You're living, you learn. Have to go fucking with me and my subscribers. I'm for love focus, man. One more spirit, please. Some of y'all need to unleash some some uh like wild kind of pent up energy to possibly be anger. But isn't angry anymore because it's kind of you over it. But you still need to unleash it without me like judging you and shit. I focus on what is working. Yeah, that's basically what y'all doing. I focus on what is working. So y'all could be Sagittarius. Focus on what is working. That's all you can do. Hmm. 
I like this ring. I like this energy. I really do. I'm going to pop from this last deck. I'm going to get up out of here. It's all oracle messages. What's hidden? Aggression. Y'all cycle. <laughs> How happy y'all ancestors are. Who y'all have become. Learning to love yourself. Some of y'all may have hidden sisters. Where like soul tribe. Where they wish they could get to you. Especially if they met them over the internet. <laughs> y'all may not be aware that people really fuck with y'all. Um, your strength. You don't know your own strength. You definitely hear them. Y'all vision is clear though. Y'all gonna take inspired action. People do not want y'all to get to y'all desk. Y'all see how they trying to cut my windpipe off? That's terrible. All you can do is do like the elders, you know, to <laughs> start looking at people just like this. But you feel sorry for people. They fucked up. You know, it's nothing you can do to help them. You know? You should die a lot of... Uh, sometimes people are so ungrateful. If you meet good, good people, you treat the people so gently because, you know, even if you have to let them go, you don't want to end it on a bad note. Just in case you get the opportunity. Again, it's just vibe. People don't think like that, though. They want to just everything, give me, give me, this is mine. I'm, you're mine. You're like, what? I don't know. I said, God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Fuck. I ain't never told you that God did either. He didn't tell you I belong to you. Because he didn't tell me that shit. He didn't tell me to look out for you, but he told me. <laughs> Just saying, y'all. Men be doing that misinterpreted shit, too. Just like women do it with men that just, you know, want to be friends with benefits and will take it further. How long we got to do that shit? Don't you know yourself well enough to know what the fuck you can handle and what you can't? If you can't handle it, don't go chasing waterfalls. You got a right to tell that man no. And if a woman told you no and you keep coming, she got the right to tell you no again because she told you the first time, can't kind of shit? <laughs> You are supported, y'all supported. Resolution to healing. Resolution is coming. Yeah, stay on your ground against this person. Because somebody's trying to test y'all willpower on some nail man. You a woman, you gonna be with them. They, they not used to getting turned down or something. Boy, shit. Sometimes you be other women's karma for how motherfucker be at other women. You know, you don't do them bad, but you don't wanna be with them. And they feel like, you know, what you mean? You know, because they're so used to women chasing them. Now they the chaser. And you ain't running. You standing your ground and saying, no, we had a good time, but this is it. I'm not going that way kind of situation. <laughs> Where it could have been something, it turned out to be just a good time. If it, if it was that, you know? Depending on how they acting and fuck it up. Some of y'all are like, yes, yeah, for real. <laughs> shit crazy y'all know self care and integration that's real shit if a person don't even know what that is more than likely you should not be going with that person cause they ain't doing none of that but you'll be doing all of that and they'll be feeding off of your motherfucking ass energetically this is energetic now I ain't nothing to do with nobody that can feed you some food Fuck physicality. It's energetically. Energy is the new currency, not physicality. <laughs> or materialism. Detach and move on. That came right up under y'all ancestors. That's what y'all doing. They don't like that. So you gotta be careful with this energy. Y'all know that. Stand your ground. Trying to test your will. Or break it. 
Mm-hmm. Somebody y'all met serendipity. Yeah. Remember I said you know, I meet people serendipitously. Yes. What that mean? <laughs> Shit. Motherfuckers probably met Ted Bundy serendipitously. <laughs> I'm just saying though. I mean, he was he was nice looking. That's how he got most of them. Talk to your guys. Yeah, talk to y'all guys. This keeps talking to y'all. It's really nervous about this period thing. Cause y'all picking up something, right? And y'all ain't got the time for no crazy ass baby daddies. You already came to get shit. Some of you. Or no crazy ass ex husband can't shit. Y'all like, no. <laughs> the no car show. <laughs> Release and surrender. That's all y'all on. That's all detach and move on, release and surrender, <laughs> healthy boundaries. Y'all doing real good. <laughs> y'all connecting with y'all confident. And y'all done told this person, no. And seek within. Are you satisfied with the life you're living? We know where we're going. <laughs> We know where we're from. We're leaving Babylonia. We're going to a father's land. <laughs> See that? Y'all may have to move. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Travel wide. I'm trying to tell you. Travel wide. What the fuck is this nuts? Accent that I, I, I movement of the paper. Talk to y'all guys. They'll tell y'all exactly what to do. And they'll protect you too. If y'all feel like, I wonder if. Say, so move through fear. Move through fear, honey. Move through fear. Y'all know now. Sometimes you gotta know. You got to. If you wouldn't have met somebody or get trans somebody else outside of the divine masculine, how the fuck would you know? You wouldn't. So don't go doing that shit, beating up on yourself all scared. I should have did this. I wish I did that. Everything gonna work out the way it's supposed to work out. This is some hidden shit going on. It's causing a lot of shit to, you know, speak your truth. Yeah. Some of y'all holding that shit. Y'all got friends y'all can talk to. Like, girl, I think I gotta let this man and get me pregnant. This motherfucker. <laughs> y'all don't want to tell nobody. <laughs> Ain't gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> get on down. <laughs> y'all better talk. Shit. Pick your truth. Shit. It is. What y'all gonna ask if they gonna end up pregnant? They gonna be mad at y'all. So. Self reliance. Y'all not on that. Y'all not on that. Y'all just got to the point where y'all can get some form of this. If you got children, single mothers, you already know what self-reliance is for. It's just like battery acid to a single mother. Did you just say self-reliant? You know what I'm saying? Because you've been there for so long. You have nobody to depend on but God. And if you're connected to your ancestors, your ancestors, ultimately yourself. Asking for strength to do it alone, basically. This is what this is saying. Y'all got that strong, though. Y'all able to detach and move on because y'all been self-reliant for so long. And some men, even some women, can't understand. How the fuck is that motherfucker just so strong like that? Honey? Because I ain't had nobody to turn to but myself, honey. God's help. Yeah, and sisters, y'all. One and the same, baby. <laughs> Shit. I gotta lay my hand too long on the shoulder, honey. Are right, you know I'm gonna end up on that concrete? Head cracked to the white meat. Exactly. Be just like this to my film. <laughs> Self care integration. Yeah. Some of y'all was into that when y'all met this person. So y'all thought y'all was on the right path. Yep. You're right. Y'all did. Why would you? Y'all ever hear where they say you call in who you this and that, you attract who you are? Sometimes that's not true. 
It ain't like that in all cases. Sometimes you could be doing the best you want to do and the, you right at where you need to be on the self-care integration, moving through your fear, seeking within, detaching, moving on, learning certain lessons, growing the fuck up, and whole oh, all of a sudden somebody see your bright ass light. One fine day, serendipity. That's what I said. Shit. How many motherfuckers the serial killers meet serendipity to see? That's what they live for, candy kind of shit. Feed off of candy kind of shit. Yeah, y'all thought y'all was on the right path. Y'all had clear vision and that. Then this is happening. Fuck it. So, man, I mean, Divine Masculine ain't here. Some of the Divine Masculines really feel like shit. I ain't captain. I know they do. I know they do. Because y'all would not have been seeking nobody else if they was with y'all. <laughs> Let it burn, honey. Let it burn, honey. Raise your vibe, honey. Raise your vibe. Somebody, like grandmother. Raise your vibe. <laughs> they learning the lingo. <laughs> Raise your vibe, honey. Raise your vibe. Go on, head on, baby. Now, you go on. She been through the left, honey. They're gonna be coming in some of the soul based dreams <laughs> for real. Create and express. Don't let nobody stop y'all creating. Come on. If y'all divine masculine and love y'all the way y'all are, why the fuck y'all gonna try to switch it up? No, come on. I'm gonna start with that self sabotage backtracking shit. Return to nature. Mm hmm. <sighs> Return to nature. Some of y'all make get y'all cycle to come if y'all do that. Just return to nature. Self reliance, seeking within, self care, self integration, expression, creatively, moving through fear, releasing and surrendering, always constantly seeking to raise your vibe, trying to follow what makes you happy. Sometimes you just realize it's a motherfucking. <laughs> just a fucking. Wolf's dead, and I need to fucking sit down. Just really focus on myself. What makes me happy, and move strategically and carefully. I don't end up in a situation. Mm -hmm. Use your personal power to push through some shit and to maintain this good vibe. I'm picking up from this reading, unseen blessing. <laughs> Something is going to be an unseen blessing. It'll just be another party on the story, you know. Divine timing. Y'all cycle. It's a matter of divine timing. That's all. Relax, guys. Relax. All right. This has been y'all moon reading. I pray this helps someone in standing your truth. Stand your ground. Move through fear. No means no. Maintain your, you know, your frequency. If you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. Can't nobody force you to. Forget a soulmate, a divine masculine, neither. Nobody. If you don't feel like talking, if you don't feel like being bothered, especially divine masculines, because they love to talk about they don't feel like being bothered, and they show it by not reaching out. So, I mean, you may get to that point. When they're ready to talk, that you don't want to be bothered, and that's fine, too. And they're going to have to respect it. It is what it is. All right, y'all. Love and light.